What's going on, YouTube? Kyle Ken coming at you with some more Let's Play Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. In the last episode, we killed the Gobul and something else in order. And Baroth, right. In this episode, we're going to uh, hunt the Lagombi. Well, that and something else, probably. Uh, that and this. Uh, how do I get? I'll get this. Using my level two, level two grains here, so I'll get HP plus twenty, per, uh, plus twenty, and I probably attack up, probably still attack up small actually. Um, I don't know what attack I got actually. That was my first time using the grains. Oh whatever. At any rate, uh, real quick, I'll show the bottom screen. Uh, nice and four star. Um, I did one of the four star quests off screen. It was the uh, the tundra, the harvest tour. And I kind of I saw the cutscene for the tundra. Uh, wasn't really anything to worry about all that much. But anyway, gonna do a uh, snowbound uh, slider. Uh, this quest should be relatively easy. I think I have everything that I need. Let's double check. Got my traps. I don't have a shock trap, so I'm actually going to uh, put this back real quick. Now you don't need trap for these, but I just always like to carry uh, one of these trap in case. Uh, Still bringing my bombs since I didn't use them in the uh, in the last quest. I'll just left them in my inventory. Not like I was planning to bring them for the little dome. He's a relatively easy monster. Still probably gonna take me about 10 minutes to kill him though, just because whenever there's something not that difficult, it takes me a little bit longer on recording to do it. Uh, oh, I have no more pickaxes, do I? All right. Because after I kill the dome. Might be able to get some mining or something. In. I don't know. It's gonna be in the tundra. Um, you could bring your own hot drink. I'm just gonna use what they give me because um, I shouldn't be in this quest too long. They took it with two hot drinks, so that should be more than enough. Uh, the Kale, this guy, he's uh, uh, Pelagus, I think is what they're called. This just pretty much just means a mammal, I believe, because the yeah, um, Alshira is a. Uh, the Pelagus, so it would be Volvodon. Oh, Volvodon's not a mammal. That's an anteater. Wait, anteaters are mammals. This doesn't look like a mammal. Because he's got anteater things on him. Uh, let's see another ration. Let me a max. Uh, Charter does nothing there. Alright, so we would have seen a cutscene right here just the first time here, but I wanted to gather some ore, so I kind of just saw the cutscene without it. And I believe there's an Area 3 the first time you see it now. Maybe area two actually. Area three is where it starts on subsequent quest. Okay, it's definitely area two. No, uh, where it's like for the first time and then when you first have this quest. So let's go to area two. Now uh, this guy is um he's just a giant bunny. A giant rabbit bunny. That slides on his belly. I was gonna say it's like a hamster, but he has bunny ears. I don't know why I was gonna say hamster. At all. I guess because he's, he's kind of chunky, so I just think hamster, like Hamtaro. Anyway, here's a Lagombi. Uh, he's ice attribute, so he's going to be uh, weak to fire. His armor is decent. I think he gives evade, uh, evasion. Um, his attacks are very similar to the Alshira's. Oh, sorry, Azuro. Except he also has sliding. He can do a 360 spin slide, and he can also just slide at you like that. And he also has an attack where he throws uh, ice at you, which causes um, ice blight. So, his breakables are just his ears, that's all you can break on him. Um, you can also throw a sonic bomb at this guy at some point, I don't know when. Um, that's the 360 uh, slide. This is actually pretty large for a uh, Lagombi. So, this might be a silver crown for me. Or might be a silver crown in general, actually. Or maybe it's just because I'm used to doing a dual Lagombi quest and one is just really small. So after seeing that one, I just assume the heavy Lagombi is giant. I think that's high rank. No, it might, no, no, I think it's high rank actually. The dual Lagombi quest I'm thinking of. The one I'm just constantly tiny. And there's a snowball. Alright, you can also do that, but if you're just attacking him from behind, you know, you just, you just get a one of those. Now, actually, I wanted to upgrade this weapon before I did this quest. Um, 
because he's weak to fire. But I don't feel really like fighting Gold Rule, so I pretty much just after I did that one mining quest or one gathering quest, I, I just came in here and I'm doing this. Thing. I mean, in all honesty, uh, the 12% drop rate of the Monster Home Plus doesn't bother me that, that much because I could probably get it um, from the Gold Rule relatively easily. But I just don't want to fight the Gold Rule again. Even though this time it'll be easier because it's starting Area 4. I just don't want to fight him again. And so after we do this quest, we should have... Um, we should have the Child of the Sea Dragon quest opened up for us. So, I want to get that out of the way. Because after we do that, we can fight the Rathian. Which we should be able to. And Rathian has a, has a better chance of dropping multiple pluses. I mean, I don't really like fighting Rathian. But, it's much better than fighting underwater against the Gold Wolf. I don't even have really have a problem with Raffle. I just, I don't know. She just reminds me of Raffles, except she doesn't stay in the air that long. So I guess that means I should like fighting her, because Raffles, just all he does is just stay in the sky. It's so annoying. Like, I thought they would have fixed that from uh, Portable Second, but. But he just, oh my god, all he does does fly around. I mean, I guess he, I don't think he flies around as much, but that was just more annoying when he flies. I don't know. He's already a limp hole. I don't know. Uh, about a, probably about a seven minute kill. Um, I'm gonna sharpen real quick. I really don't need to, but. Whatever. I have many whetstones, so I might as well use them. Man, he's gonna be right here, so... It's whatever. Um... Did he die already? I need to farm this guy up too, so I can get his dual sword. So I should probably just capture this guy right here, because I'm pretty sure you get more materials if you capture monsters more often than not. But some materials I need might I might need to kill him for to get a better chance of getting, so I'm not sure at the moment. So I'll just kill him this time around. I need quite a bit of materials from this guy. I need I need a bunch of plaster rooms, I think. I'm not sure if you get those uh, more easily by killing him or not. Um, I know what I probably need his ears too, and probably pelts. I'm probably sure you dual swords, they're probably running faster, but I don't have my fire dual swords up and running yet. I'm not gonna have them for a while. So. Okay. I think I have enough pelts. Oh, jumbo book. I don't need that. Actually, I don't know how many. Because there's one item from this guy, I need five of. I don't. I think. I don't remember what it was. Now, real quick. Let's see if I can make, uh, make it over here. Yeah, Skeedaddle. And, uh, where's the... Okay, here's one. Let's see if I can get some Isithium. Maybe some Light Crystals or something. But now Isithium's uh, gonna be what I'm needing. Oh, fuck. Uh, let's flash on here. Oh, shit. I don't want to stone, actually. This is, this is an account item. No. Uh, alright. Well, I got one Isithium. So now I have like five out of fourteen. <laughs> I have to go farming for more of those later. Uh, I might actually no, that probably won't get me assessing on killing it or something. Let's see what I get. I got another I got a ear. I think I might need frozen globs. I don't get those I don't need those yet. I don't believe at least. And around now I think is when I'll be able to start getting my dual swords up. Or at least my first elemental ones. You know, let's see. In case something goes wrong with this. You should have people want to talk to us? No? Hmm. Alright. Uh, upgrade. Go ahead and put those. Don't need to store it. Two plaster runes and three more pelts. Okay. So farming him up real quick is going to be difficult. Um, I probably need a caption for the plaster runes, so. though. I know I definitely need more than that for plaster rooms though, because I'm gonna go find I need some. 
Actually, I think I can make the chain blade now. I won't be able to upgrade it any further anytime soon. Um, chain spawn? I don't have enough money. But I can make it. I need to do some. I need monster one largest. Oh, I have five. Okay, five out of fourteen. Okay. No. Do I have the quest I need again? No? What else do I need to do? I guess leader of the ice pack? Great baggy. Because I, I looked it up just to double check what I needed and it just said Oh my god. I feel like every website I look at for to see what quests I <laughs> I need are wrong. Because I even said last episode I I, pro I have to do the Lagoon the and the baggy more than likely. And uh I guess I have to. Null berries. Uh, plant some more null berries. I don't know why, but I feel like if I take them instead of uh, selling them right on the spot, like I don't know, I just <laughs> it's just something stupid that I always do. I just feel like it makes it nets me more money if I sell them all at once instead of just selling them as I get them. I'd like to keep some in my box in case I need, you know, for some reason I need more berries on the wand. Alright, well I guess I gotta kill the great baggy now, so... Um... Alright, stack up some more. Um... The great baggy puts you to sleep. I don't know what helps with that. Whatever. Doesn't matter, I just need to be packed up small. The Great Baggy, though, is the strongest out of the great monsters. Okay, Fox Rescue. Okay. Okay, so, the leader of the Ice Pack is what we're doing next, right? Still Great Baggy. Now, this guy's actually somewhat difficult. Because he's the biggest out of the, out of the, out of the great monsters, and I'm pretty sure he's the strongest as well. Uh, along with putting, putting you to sleep, which is very annoying. I could have brought some energy drinks, actually, to help a combat that, but I won't need them. Look at that, they gave some energy drinks right here. Not bad. Okay. So, hopefully I get this quest done quickly. Uh, like that. And I'll give them energy drinks on top. Like that. Next stamina real quick. And I want to say he's in Area 7 to start with the first time. And subsequent quests will be in Area 2. Oh, I'm not entirely sure though. Actually, I'll go, to, I'll go through Area 3. I'm not sure where he starts. Could be Area 3 for all I know. Oh, and, and indeed it is. Alright. So, this is Area 3. And here's our little baggie. Chasing out of Popos. And there's a great baggie. And uh, there's his uh, sleep, little sleep breath thingy. It'll still be annoying because of the sleep. But, again, we have uh, Cha Cha, who will um, hit you so that you wake up. That's another way to wake up from sleep if you don't have uh, energy drinks. Because I know a lot of people don't actually bring energy drinks with them. But, he yeah. actually doesn't look that big, um, as I remember him looking. I think the quest that I just I just do the have he's got going just just a lot of times just have gigantic versions. And as you can see that Popo just uh, woke up so he'll be able to um to escape now. And um obviously as as the great baggy and great uh great baggy as great Roggy and Great Jaggy, he has the same exact move patterns and same breakables, you know, just break his head. You know, leader's crest. But this guy just has to sleep instead of poison. Which can almost can be almost as annoying as poison in some instances. But, but for now, uh, let's just kill this guy. And as you can see, he's already in rage mode. So I guess I'm doing a fair amount of damage to have him already in rage mode. So let's get this over with quickly. I hope. I guess having the attack of small uh, helps out a lot more than I thought it would. Oh, I guess this weapon is also relatively decent for the point that I'm at right now. I also wouldn't really recommend fighting this guy with, like, a longsword 
a great sword. Again, that's just me. I feel like, you know, uh, sword monsters like this, you should fight with sword and shield, dual swords, you know, something like that. I also wouldn't really, really, wouldn't really recommend bow for this guy either. Because this guy moves around quite a bit. Uh, Lance and Gunlance are really nice to fight this guy. I, I guess you can use Hammer. I wouldn't. Uh, then again, I don't really use Hammer, but... I don't know. If you want to sleep on this guy, uh, if you want to bomb this guy, I don't know if his, um... If his sleep shot, sleep breath, actually affects bombs. Um, because I know you can, some people just put bombs down. And instead of, you know, without using traps. I've done that a few times, actually. Uh, just because I had the opportunity to. And, you know, just hope that the monster wouldn't, uh... Wouldn't blow them up. But, you know, sometimes it happens. I don't think his, uh... His sleep breath does any damage, though, so... That might be, uh... Might be a thing. Or, you know, might not uh, blow a bomb. I don't really want to find out, because that'd just be a waste of a bomb right now. Damn, I thought I rolled, but I guess I didn't. He's probably limping a little. Already? What? Oh, God. Uh, I think he's going to area... He sleeps in area 7, I believe? Probably going to area 4. That's uh secret entrance to area 4 that only they can take. Um... Should be fine. Actually, if I flash bomb him, I think I'll be able to put my bombs down easily. And break his crest. But... That would make this faster. If I did that. Probably. Then I just have to worry about the stupid ass baggy attacking me. While well, I'm putting down the bomb, so. They don't get flashed out of this. Like, I think that's where a lot of the damage comes from on these on quests like this. Not so much the the leader monsters, it's primarily the minion monsters, because you're just trying to um, avoid them and attack the leader monster. <laughs> but there's the great baggy. You did quite a bit of damage to me, but Again, like I just said, those are probably a lot of the minion monsters, because, uh, the little baggy, there were like three or four of them in the last area that I just kind of ignored the whole time as well. And, uh, since we're here, uh, we might as well, uh, hit up that, uh, mining real quick. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, Isisium! I, oh, I guess I'll take an ice crystal. Even though I can buy those. Come on, I see the, um... Oh god, Cha Cha. You're threatening. Hey! I think I see one over there. No, that's a baggie. Uh. Can I get one more I before the quest is over? Let's see. That's not I see No! Alright, well, I'm getting close. I now have six I see more. And, uh. This has been about 20 minutes already. I probably should end the episode here, but I'll see if I can do the next quest. I think it's been about 20 minutes. Pretty sure I started at about 4.02, and now it's 4.21 in the morning. Nope, won't save it yet. People have something to say. Alright, alright, it's time. It's time. Okay, I'm going to buy that request. Okay, so far. Okay, let's uh, flash the bottom screen real quick, see what we got. Um, oh, yeah, I can make this now. I didn't make it yet. Oh, that's why I got the Shroom Germs. Okay. Let's put that as limit C. Alright, what do you have to say, though? Uh, Global Whiskers, so you can get that. I don't think it's Global yet. Uh, Super size dumb catalyst. Okay, I'll delete those off screen or something. Alright. Someone else wants to talk to me though. Uh, bottom screen. Okay, uh, probably this guy. 
this will be closer. Uh, Logi first, okay. Right now, what if we were call a Logi first? You know what? Fuck it. Let's, let's do it. Get this Logi first in here. Now, this quest is actually extremely easy. Um, but what we have to do for this quest is repel the Logi of Chris. Um, so, you literally just need, like, nothing for this quest. It's, it's actually that easy. Um, yeah, so let's go repel the Logi, Chris. And to top it all off, you start off in, like, Area 5? Area 5, uh, Area, like, 3 or whatever. And, uh, yeah, this is a, a repel quest, though, so, um, this is actually the one and only time when you can repel the Logi, Chris. So, like, you can't farm them up here and uh, try to get some materials. What you can do, though, I think, I think you can do this, don't quote me, um, you can, like, break his horn and, like, his, um, his chest and his claws or whatever. And, um, you know, fuck, I forgot to eat. I want that attack up. We need, we need that attack up small. We need to make this thing quick. I'm already fucking up. In all honesty, like I don't need to go get, go go back and get this, but um, but uh, you know, it's just attack up small it makes a difference slightly. I don't know. I just always get mad and abandon quests whenever I forget to eat. Honestly. <laughs> I just want to get this quest over with. Let me meet, uh, this one, so let's just unlock it. I also just try to get all these things unlocked, so if for some reason I just want to combine random things, like, I don't know what the effects are. Uh, and I got a voucher, so I guess it's kind of good that I came back. Anyway, let's go with all this loggy, Chris. Uh, this shouldn't take too long at all. It's probably take. At most, I want to say, eight minutes. Because he's on land, so. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I have enough time to break everything on him, though. Unfortunately. Um, because I remember the first time I did something, like, I broke his chest. And after that, it was just like, quest complete! And I'm like, hello? But he's right there. Let me, let me, let me, uh, pillow this man. I guess it's kind of like the, um, the Yen Garuka quest in, uh, the first, uh, Monster Comportable. Where you just have to repel the Garuga and that's it. I don't. I'm, I never really played that game too much. I played Portable Second a lot more. But yeah. So for some odd reason, these dumbass Jaggy are trying to disturb the Loggy Crest. Like he's just sleeping, and they're just roaring at him. Like what the fuck are you thinking? This guy is a threat. Well, I mean, at this point in the game, he's a threat. But look at him. Like he just he's just trying to sleep. And they're like, you know what? You know what's a good idea? Making this guy angry. So now he's awake, and where they at now? They're just like, uh, there's a hunter here. <laughs> Target the hunter. Aw, oh, hard to block that. But anyway, Loggy Crest, like I said in the previous video, uh, he fights very similarly to the Ludroth on land and in water, so... Um, the only really difference is that he can shoot electricity, he can generate a little electricity field. Um, one of my friends, uh, actually a few of my friends refer to that as the, uh, the Pikachu. Uh, like right there, he's shooting the electric uh, energy, electric breath rather, as opposed to, um, you know, the, the water breath that the Woodrow has. He also does like a little serpent thing, like the, uh, uh what's that thing, the, the Fatalis used to do. Except, you know, since this is a logic quest, it's not instant death, and that seems to be all he wants to do. Like, on land, this guy is just a freaking pushover. So this, you actually have nothing to fear. Like, if you can't handle this guy on land, I, you gotta find a different game to play. I don't know what to tell you. Like... <laughs> Alright, see, look, I already broke one, I already broke his claws. Break his chest. I could actually probably be aiming for his head, but, you know, like... I don't really want to cut this tail off if I want to. I wouldn't mind breaking the horn though. But right, let's get this thing. I don't know why. I always thought it was just, just like cutting off monster tails. And look, see, there's the little coil thing with the wood drop does as well. I don't know. I just always uh, felt like whenever I like the first time I cut a tail off, I was, I was so accomplished. Because, like, the first time I saw uh, Rathalos. 
Or was it when he was a uh, Rathi? And, uh, and Monster Hunter, like, I actually, like, shit bricks. I was like, oh my god. This thing is here. He's gonna claim my soul. Because it was during, like, the, um... The quest where you have to, like, you have to go get a Wyvern egg. And there's just a Rathi just, like, guarding the map. Look at these Jaggy. They're actually just over here, just marinating. They're not even attacking me. They know, they know that the real deal is here. They know that the threat is real. Well, okay, I tried to block that, but I was too late. Really, probably should sharpen my weapon. But... Oh, I didn't think I was going to avoid that one actually. I like how I said, if you can handle this guy on land, you, have, you need to find a different game to play. But, um, I'm having a bit of a problem with him right now. Because I keep getting hit. What the mean? What's going on? Okay. I love having to be sharpened. I also don't think... Oh, okay. I was also going to say that I don't think he leaves that area when you're fighting him in this quest. How long has this been? Well, it's taking too long. It's been four minutes. Taking too long. I'm pretty sure the first time I fought this guy, he didn't leave this area. Like, I just repelled him, like, right then and there. Damn. This is I've, got, I've gotten worse and stuff. I played Moss Hunter to, uh, Moss Hunter Tribe. So, that's the, that's the only thing I can think of. God damn it! I keep getting hit by that. This guy is not hard on land, but they're still giving me problems right now. Probably stop trying to talk over this and just focus on attacking him. Because a lot of people, a lot of people don't realize how how difficult it is to actually commentate over a game and play it at the same time. But you know, it's all good. But at the end of the day, this guy's gonna get repelled. No, oh, damn it. Trying to break his stomach. Oh, I didn't even list this, this guy's breakables. Uh, his stomach, his head, his claws, his back, and his tail uh, can be cut and or broken. And look, there it is. See, look at him. It was not even five, sub five minutes. Not no, not even sub five minutes. That's not even five minutes. It's like four, four fifty-four. And right now he's just like you can't chase him. You can try, but I'm pretty sure he swims off the map. Like, not even towards Area 11. Like, he's just, I'm pretty sure he's just swimming out of the map area. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, yeah, see, look at that. Like, he's heading, like, he's heading outside of the map. Because he knows the deed has been done. He knows the Sugi Sugi. He knows. Oh my god, did I really just say that? Alright, I gotta go. <laughs> I must be stopped. I'm out of control. But, yeah. That's the lagging across on land. Underwater. You can imagine that he's much harder to fight. Uh, especially for me, because I suck at fighting underwater. So, look forward to me fighting him underwater. Um... What we get? Okay, got scale. Once one large. Oh, that's really good. Oh. Claw. Wow. Since, well, I'm going to be making the Lucky Cross Dual Sword as well, so I'm going to have to farm him up also. Uh, I don't think I'll make his armor like I did the first time around in this game. Because um, he was like the cover monster, so everyone was making his armor. It's like, oh, you know, new monster, got to make his, um, his armor, blah, blah, blah. And actually, we get the third boat back right now, instead of after we get the gold ball like I had initially thought. Um, but only getting that one large monster bone though really hurts. Um... This. I'm pretty sure I need two. Um, for that, yeah, I need two. All right. Well, I have enough money for the chain sword now. So let's upgrade to that. And what I'm going to make next, I'm going to make the rhyme blade. Um, but I can't make that quite any dragon or one. I can't get that until I get to the volcano. So this is on hold for now. And with these, I'm going to make Roggy swords so I can upgrade them. I'm about to farm the uh, 
It's allowed you to quite a lot in uh, my computer. I just want to sleep again. I don't know why it does that. Um, I'm about to do some farming off screen. Well, just a little bit. Real quick, let's talk to these guys. Do I may ask for a favor? I can cook out a recipe for a healthy grade A milk. Alright. Uh, I'll flash up the bottom screen once more just so you can see what you need. Um, we need a little bit of whisker. I'm going that here. IV Mega Nutrients and Pale Extract. We cannot get the Pale Extract just yet, I don't believe. Unless we can find a certain monster, which I don't think we can. Uh, the Giganox. And everybody wants to talk to us, so let's just get through the board. Alright, blah blah blah. Be cool, Augie, Chris. You want me to join a hunting crew? No, I'm not about it. No, fuck, fuck. Damn, that wasn't even the right guy. Okay, Black Spear Hunter. Okay, now we got all three boats back. Talk to Fishmongers. Uh, the best in the boat software is fine. That's the whole Oh, I did. Well, we got all three boats back, as you can see now. Oh, well, you can't see because it's on the bottom. Oh, no, you can. Okay, yeah. I also upgraded two of mine um, off the. Um, when the last time Argos and Captain was here. Oh, fuck like this guy. See if he gives us anything. I'm not going to really read it anymore because you don't really pay much money for the story. I mean, there is a slight story. It doesn't, it's not really all that interesting. Just kill monsters. Alright, so, now we have the rest of the 4-star quest we didn't have before that I can start farming on. Okay, Dragon Lady, that's what I really need to get. Creeping Venom, okay. So, on uh, the next episode, hopefully I'll farm up some of, uh, some of the things I needed so I can have new materials and weapons to show off, but, uh, until then, Alright, uh, you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that good jazz. This is Kyle Ken. I'll catch you on the next episode of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate.